Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah Shower, and today I'm going to be making the Lego Starry Night Set. Yeah. Yeah. Also, I realized that my seat is very low. This is a very low couch, and I thought I'd switch up the angle, but I physically can't lower this table, so I just feel like I'm sitting very low. Let's get this started. I'm gonna open it up first. Oh my god. Oh my god. You look like the Starry Night Lego set. Fuck, I'm sorry, Courtney. I had Red Bull. Red Bull gives you wings. Let's empty this out. <laughs> All right, so if you've never done a Lego set before, what's up? All the Lego sets, they usually come in bags like this and they're numbered. So you're gonna start with number one. Duh. Okay, so recently, for everyone just joining, I kind of just talk about pretty much whatever when I'm building. I don't really talk about like the specs a lot. I mean, I'll tell you, like I'll read the box for like details, but. This is pretty much just what I do. This is very cathartic to me. So if you have a Lego set, please pull it out now. We're gonna be building. I think a lot of people just put this on and then start building their Lego sets and it's very much just like a fun thing to do with someone else. Someone else. Starry Night, as we all know, was painted by Van Gogh, who um, did unfortunately lose his battle with time um, he was if he were to be alive today he'd be unnaturally old okay fuck this let's start this off i'm just really excited to get this started because i don't have any lego sets that i can oh wait no no this was van gogh the story of van gogh born in groot Zundert, the Netherlands, obviously, on March 30th, 1853. From a young age, Van Gogh was introduced to the world of art by his uncle Vincent and brother Theo. How fun. Okay, let's get this started, guys. Hi guys, today's sponsor is Warby Parker. Warby Parker offers everything you need for happier eyes. Eyeglasses, sunglasses, contact lenses, and eye exams. Shop online or in stores. Warby Parker is also super affordable. Glasses start at $95, including prescription lenses. Sunglasses, progressives, and blue light lenses are also available. And getting the home try-on kit was super easy. All I had to do was visit their website, answer a few quick questions, and Warby Parker suggested some glasses and sunglasses, some glasses and sunglasses that fit my face and style. I do want to talk about about some of the glasses that I got. The first pair that I got was the Crane in Sea Glass Gray. While I do like this, I think it's kind of bland on my face, honestly. It doesn't really do much for me. I mean, I know that glasses are supposed to make you see, but I thought these were cute, but they, I, I don't know. They were good, but not like good for me. The second pair of glasses I got were the Daisy Wide, and I feel like the brown frame really did a lot for my eyes. Blue and brown go really great together. I mean, that's what every makeup company that sold me eyeshadow has told me, and I think they look really great on me. I am a huge fan of sun sunglasses, but I don't think the Downing Y did a lot for me. I mean, they're cute glasses, but I don't know if I in particular would keep them. Another pair that I really did like was the Haley Wide, Halley Wide. I, again, I love the brown frames. They just make me look super intelligent, and that's the look that I'm going for, and I think it's a tortoise shell design. I don't know, there's something about tortoise shell that really, like, uh, pops with my eyes. Try Warby Parker's free home try-on program. Order five pairs of glasses and try them on at home for free for five days. There is no obligation to buy. Ships free. It includes a pre paid return shipping label. Try five pairs of glasses at home for free at warbyparker.com slash Sarah Shower. First, we're going to build our little guy. Okay, so there's a little itsy bitsy Van Gogh. I was going to say, did they cut off one of his ears? But uh, Lego people don't have ears, and I feel like that'd be a bit insensitive. Granted, I did go to Legoland, and uh, they did have a memorial for the World Trade Center, so they do acknowledge tragedy, but apparently not Van Gogh's lack of ear. He's so cutie pie. Oh my gosh. He's just going to sit and watch us. Oh yeah, we're building his little easel. Um, I put the wrong thing on. It's the first piece. Wow, that's actually really embarrassing. Was it though? No, it wasn't. Oh, I didn't. Sorry guys. Oh, this is gonna take forever. And I'm gonna get sweaty in the camera lights and my makeup's gonna come off. Oh yeah, I have a bandage on my neck because I burnt it while I was curling it. And I got so frustrated, I just like stopped curling it and then I put my hair up. You know, like that thing of where like, just start crying because nothing is going right and so you just like fuck it and you give up and yeah so as most of you know van gogh is an artist i don't know why i continue to talk about him i don't know anything about him other than that okay so this is the little easel that's so cute 
Now we're gonna get on to the meat of this. The other day I went down to San Diego for San Diego Pride, cause it, for some reason it's in July. And uh, when I was coming back, I got this like blinding headache and I literally pulled over twice and got two separate hotel rooms twice. Because when I left the first hotel room, I was like, you know what, I can, I can do it, I can make it. And then I got on the highway and I was like, I absolutely cannot see right now. So I pulled off and we got like a hotel room and then I just kind of like slept the rest of the way and had like a little sad moment. But I'm fine now. This is what we have. Looks like a hairbrush. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> one time someone commented like, I use these videos to like help me fall asleep. I mean, hey, hey, you, whatever, whatever floats your boat. Different strokes, different folks. Dobie, can you come up here if you're gonna be meowing and saying slurs? Uh, he was adopted from a, a different home, so I can't really control what he says. I just like, I, I just, I... Alrighty guys, this is the first part done. As you can see, this is like the first like initial outline of like the rolling hills in the scene. Oh, oh, whoa. Oh, move the entire, oh God. <laughs> Everything is moving. Part do. You know what I kind of want to do while I'm doing this, but I'm scared it's going to chop it up when it's edited since it'll be like a time lapse. I want to read like Reddit, am I the asshole posts because I've become obsessed with them. Not because they have anything to do with Legos, but they're just like, am I the asshole for beating my dog to death? Hear me out. It was annoying, you know? And you're like, and then everyone in the comments is like, yeah, dude, you are the ass. I don't know. Why would you even go online and admit this? Or like throw away account. And then they give their exact address and like descriptors and basically like their social security number. And then everyone's like, I think I know who this is Ooh, this is gonna be like the little artsy the little artsy pizza artsy piece of the puzzle what sets are you guys doing as you watch me do this anyone doing the van gogh set as well the fact that there are people in a lab who make these oh my god you should get like the nobel peace prize for making lego sets or at least a really great hand job or what's the, what's the pussy equivalent to a hand job rub one out what is that called if you can jerk someone off because it's not finger okay you know what i'm sorry this piece goes on here guys how fun i know a lot of you joining me for the first time are really perturbed what is the difference between perturbed and disturbed i think perturbed pervert like disturbed by a pervert <laughs> okay i'm sorry um this is not okay here's the second part of our little our little i don't even know where this goes now wait there we go. Now this one goes right, what, oh, what, oh, it goes right here. Oh, how cute. You can see it coming together, guys. Don't even deny it. All of you are like, I wasn't denying. I wasn't even gonna do that. I don't know why. Guys, look, another piece of the puzzle. Oh my God. I love, I'm just so excited to see how this all comes out. I'm just so excited. Oh my God, look, it's like waves. Oh my God. Oh my God. I already know this is gonna be beautiful. I already know this is gonna be fucking beautiful. Brittany and I are buying a house. Can you believe that? In Los Angeles of all places. And you know, we've talked to a couple agents and they just don't give us any confidence in the house buying process. You know, they're like, well, we can't really, you know, you gotta manage your expectations. And like, we're like not picky people, but um, I don't know, we're looking for like two or three bedrooms and then just like a space to film in. Like it doesn't have to be a designated room it could be like an area and then you know a yard and they're like well you know with your budget like we have a pretty decent budget but like no one is giving us confidence and they're like well, I don't know if we can find something I literally go online I look up what we've specified and I can find it like immediately I'm like Brittany these people are talking to us like we're fucking idiots you know what I mean I found this shit in like a minute. Obviously, I know that salespeople try to take advantage of you, but um, we're not like incompetent where we like don't know to like Google stuff, you know? You're never gonna find a deal like this anywhere else. Just found a deal like this somewhere else. But yeah, super excited. Never owned a home before. 
Dobie's gonna have a little bit more space to wander around. Oh yeah, um, in last the last Lego video, I was like, I think I hope Brittany's okay. Um, turns out she was in New York City. That's why she hadn't woken up all day is because she physically was not in the state. That happens so many times when we're filming. Where I'm like, Brittany, can you keep it down? And then she's like, I'm literally in New York City. And I'm like, so yeah, keep it down. If I can hear you from here. No, um, sorry. I'm getting older and my brain is deteriorating. I haven't been sleeping much lately. I just keep getting anxiety about aging but then I realize if I live every day to my fullest then I won't be it won't be that hard of a transition you know because then I feel like my life won't be wasted but then I still get like paralyzed in fear at the thought of aging so I don't do anything all day and that causes me to spiral and freak out Ugh, no but I mean aging isn't that bad I actually, I mean, I don't really feel any like, I don't, I don't feel bad. I mean, my b body just generally hurts all the time, but that I, that could be from anything. Ooh, not to, no, I don't want to trauma dump. You know what I will. You know how I have like a lot of medical issues? Like it's actually kind of concerning. I found out, like I realized the other day, like why I don't go to the um, doctor all that often. And it's because my mom was a doctor and she was a bitch. But so now I'm gonna work through that in therapy be like, hey, dude, I'm gonna start going to like the doctors because my body's shutting down. Um, okay, sorry guys, didn't mean to. Wait, okay, that makes sense. So you're just getting all the bells and whistles. Ooh, you wanna know something funny? Um, my manager got like a new like coordinator who's gonna be helping me like with like brand stuff or whatever. And um, they said that his first day as a coordinator uh, was like yesterday and they took him out to lunch like as you do with someone new and he threw up at lunch. Um, they said he was like, he ran down the street and he threw up. I think he got sick from like something he ate when they went out to lunch and I'm just like, oh my gosh. Like talk about a shit first day. Oh my God, so cute. This is just literally like, this is literally just the bee's penis. Like this is, this is the bee's penis. Oh, it's a little house. It's a little house. Can you insert a picture of house from the show house, but little? Thank you. Guys, look at the little trees. Look at the little trees. Just so adorable. Oh, I knocked the, oh no, I knocked it over. Okay guys, so I guess we're on to number three. Wow. There's a lot of leftover pieces here. That's actually kind of concerning. Oh, uh, I will deal with that later. Oh no. Should I get into acting? Most of you are saying no right now, probably. This was totally the wrong space. If anything, I really wanna get into writing. I feel like I'd be a superb writer. Cause I mean, I am a writer. I really wanna write like a sitcom. Just an absolutely deranged sitcom. I don't know what it would be about. I think like I really love scenarios where people can like drive cars because I don't know, you just get like the craziest people in cars all the time. Like if you've ever like ridden in an Uber and someone says something out of their mind, but you kind of just like agree with it. Like the Uber driver could be like, I don't think women deserve rights. And I would honest to God be like, you know what? I'm right there with you because whatever I have to say to me to get safely to the next space, I will absolutely say it. No way in hell I'm gonna disagree with the guy who's basically driving a weapon around the city. <laughs> and so like, I guess my sitcom idea would be, um, I think what's a really fun idea is like a driving school. And cause you could come up with like a bunch of different scenarios, like a driving school for like people who've gotten like DUIs, but also like people who are like children. So like for some reason, like the county that this is in, like they've combined, you know, their budgets and like, I mean, they have like a very limited budget so they combine the schools together. And now you just have like this weird amalgamation of like drunks and people who speed and then children who are like learning for the first time. And it would just be a really interesting dynamic. And then the instructors themselves could have like pretty intricate like backstories. I think that'd be really funny. I think a lot of times like in an office setting, it's like pretty much the same type of person, but like this in like a driving school would just be like so fun. This is what we're coming up with. It's obviously one of the waves. I'm so excited. I want to do like an HGTV show where we like design someone's house but we only use furniture we find along the side of the road. Like, so we'd go to like college towns and you know, like when everyone moves out of their dorms, like it's just furniture everywhere. Furniture everywhere. I feel like that could easily be like a college, like 
HGTV like challenge and it would make sense for our demographic because a lot of y'all are in college and like recreate the look. Fuck. Oh, I was watching like all these TikToks of this girl I think who goes to Berkeley and um, she said like all the rich kids, like once they move out of their dorms, they just throw everything away. And so she found like hundreds of dollars worth of clothes and all this stuff. And I was like, dude, imagine like you could have this series and like different, <laughs> like at different colleges. And I think that'd be so cool to like see which room you come up with. Or it could be like a design challenge show where like you challenge students in the area to like create the perfect space using stuff they find along the side of the road and then whoever wins the challenge gets like a free like an actual design uh like their their college house like whatever actually designed by like a real designer i would watch that but back to van gogh he was an artist himself oh, sorry if that was loud sorry or if that wasn't loud at all or if that, i don't need to worry all right where, where did it go yeah, I fucked up my nail. Jesus Christ. That's annoying. Come here. Come here, dope. Mom is fucking up her nails. So that's that on that. This is this part. We're done with bag three. Yay! And now we're on to bag four. <gasps> oh my God, it's gonna like snap together like this. I'm literally, oh my God. Oh my God. Dopey, stop. Just come upstairs. Or are you too out of shape? Little chunky man. Little chunky man. Come on, it'll do your, it'll do you good. You know, my phone is not on do not disturb. It's just that no one has texted me. Literally no one has texted me. Or they have and I haven't been noticing. Yes. Snap together, look, a little house is coming together. How fun, how fun. <laughs> oh my god, wait, no, it's a little chapel. <gasps> Separation of church and state. Oh my god, look at the little church. Look at the little church. <laughs> I think we're combining them now. I think we're combining them. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Guys, watch. Guys, watch. 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 Oh. Huh? This is embarrassing. Oh, that's why. That's why I was like, why does it not fit together? Literally like this. Oh no, I keep pushing down on this one. All right, guys, it's gonna come together. It's gonna come together. Oh my God, guys, the way it just, oh my God. Guys, guys, oh Jesus. Oh, that's why. There we go, now that snapped into place. That's literally fucking adorable, but a little bit ominous because that's, that's how far we've gotten. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna be moving on to part five. Oh my God, there's a lot to five. Oh, this is a lot of repetition. What if I mess up like at one point right now? Oh my God, that's gonna suck so bad. I get one thing wrong because I totally misjudged the pattern. I actually don't know why Dopey's upset because I left the back heater on downstairs, so he should be sitting on it. And if he's not, he's a big dumb idiot. He's a big dumb idiot, you hear me, Dopey? Sit on the heater, I know you wanna warm your butt. Ooh, I took him to the vet the other day and they stuck a little thermometer in his butt and he got so angry. He got so mad. I don't blame him. To get something shoved up your butt? 9 a.m. on a Monday? Oh, that pissed me off too. Especially if I don't know that it's about to go in there. Come here. Come hither. Joy P. If you love me, you'll join me upstairs. Emotional manipulation. Oh my god, this is gonna take forever. Oh! <gasps> oh! Oh! And this is the part where we click it on, where we click it on. Oh my God, oh my God. Everyone, 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 everyone. Gonna face it this way towards this camera. So you guys see what we're dealing with. All right, we're gonna snap it on. We're gonna snap it on. <gasps> ah, oh my God. Oh my God, guys. Oh my God, holy shit. Holy fucking, oh my God. Oh my God. <gasps> Ah, oh, that looks so fucking cute, my God. <gasps> now we're on to part six. Okay, 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 oh my God. Now I'm gonna be building the frame, so I'm gonna move this out of frame. Sorry. 
This looks just as monotonous as the last step. So we're just gonna fast forward through this one because there's no way in hell. I got nothing to say. You know how like people are like, um, I, don't, I don't know if you're like aware of your red flag when it comes to dating, but my two big red flags that are a huge deal breaker for a lot of people is I don't like to travel and I don't like dogs. For me, for me, it's pretty much like a tactile thing with dogs. I don't like uh, how their nails feel and a couple other things. I know, I know, I know. I do, I don't mind a dog. I'll babysit a dog. But for the most part, I, I prefer not to, I don't know, whatever. But traveling, everyone's like, if you love to travel, I, I hate traveling. And it's not even the fact, I mean, I would love to see other cultures and stuff like that, obviously. But the way that traveling makes me so exhausted and like stressed out, like I'm a huge fan of routine. I am a neuro neurodivergent and I like, I love my routine and I love my space. And so it just like makes me feel wholly ungrounded, if you know what I mean. Okay, got the top part of the frame. Good, good, let's put that down. See what we got coming next. All right, a lot more of the same, hell yeah. I'm getting literally so excited. I thought I was gonna take a break tonight, but I'm not, I can't. I simply can't. Oh my God, oh my God, oh. My God, it's a frame. I've been framed. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. It's now becoming a reality. I'm gonna shit. We're gonna lower this into the frame. I'm gonna snap it in, I guess. All right, Let's snap it in, push it down, push it down on all sides. Oop. There we go. <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God, guys, look. That is so, so, oh my God. The way it just pops out of the frame is like insane to me. This is so gorgeous. This is gorgeous. Oh my God, there's gonna be, Guys, I, I shit you not. I'm gonna literally shit myself. All right, we're in the home stretch. We're in the home stretch. My nails are fucked up. And I know you're like, there's a little tool that like separates the pieces, but it doesn't work when they're like the same size and they're the thin ones stuck together. Jeez yelling at me through the screen. Oh my God, this is the fucking clouds. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Ah! We have to put the stars on now. We'll try these little saucer things. Oh, so cute. So cute. And they got little nipples on them. It'd be like the little moons of the planet. Of the sun, or of the stars, or like the fuck, no, the center of the planet. My God, the star, the center of the stars, the core. Oh my God, we're in the home stretch. We're in the home stretch. I'm literally gonna start screaming in like two seconds. Ugh. All right, now we're building the sun, our sun. Now we're snapping the little sun on. Move all this stuff over. Excuse me, fellas. Pardon me. Oh my God. Oh my God, guys. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm gonna mount this on my wall. I would never hump a Lego piece. Now it's time for eight. I'm realizing very quickly that this is gonna take, a, this is gonna be like really fiddly. And I've decided that I'm gonna do it in the morning. So I'm gonna finish this up in the morning and then we're all gonna have a great time, okay? It's literally gonna be a two second break for you guys. So I will see you in the morning. The next day. And I'm back and it's the morning. So I'm gonna I'm gonna finish this if it's the last thing I do. I feel like this pe these pieces are about to be really fiddly. Did I say that last night? I'm so tired. No oh God. For a second, I was like, I feel like this camera angle on my phone would be a lot better if I was left-handed, but 
Um, you need to build Legos with both your hands, so it doesn't really matter. You're gonna be obstructing a view either way. Oy. Oh, there we go. Back starting to hurt. Also, I made eggs earlier, so my fingers are a little bit slippery. Ooh, slippery fingers. I do have to fart though. I'm gonna say something controversial. I truly believe that making this Lego set may have been harder than painting the original. <sighs> Put on the wrong one. God damn it. Oh, I put on the wrong one. My hands are just covered in eggs. <laughs> Jesus. You know that moment when you can't do your Lego sets because your hands are covered in eggs? Okay, now we can snap it on. Cute. Oh my God, you guys are gonna love this. You guys are gonna love this. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to show you. Gotta snap these bad boys in place. Huh? I did put the wrong one in there. <laughs> How embarrassing. Let's see if this snaps on now. Why would it snap on now? I've. Maybe it's this one? Oh, it is this one. It's the brown color. I'm a doofus? Am I a doofus? Am I a doofus? I am a doofus. There we go. Guys, my camera died. So while that's charging, I'm just gonna finish this part of the set and then set nine and then show you guys the final result at the end because I feel like you've pretty much gotten the gist. I don't know where to look right now because I'm filming myself weird, but like it's gorgeous this far and I'm just gonna show you guys the final results and I'll see you in like half a second. Okay guys, so I'm officially done with the Starry Night set. Oh God, I'm officially done with the Starry Night set. I did the tree and then I built out some of the homes and then I added the little platform for the Van Gogh figure it, ooh, himself. Oh my God. So this is the final result. I do need to put Van Gogh on his little pedestal. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Did I put this on upside down? Wait, I put something on upside down, crap. This took me literally six hours, but here is the final result. Get it, and you got Van Gogh with his little like paint set, so he's actually painting Starry Night. And I love how 3D it is. Oh my God, I cannot wait to put this on my wall. If Lego ever did like an artist series, I would definitely buy all of them. Oh my God, this was so tedious, but I it was so worth it. Holy crap, oh my God. Literally, what the fuck? All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Tell me which set I should do next because I really enjoy these. I think these are my personal favorite because I love Lego, but thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next week. Bye. Dopey.